Professor Marian Bird will present her views from the industrial relations framework and practice. Do you think, Marian, that remote working will enhance the effectiveness of gender equality and empower women to maintain work-life balance? Well, remote working or working from home throws up a real dilemma. On the one hand, it enables people, and often this is women, to work from home some days a week. And that mm -hmm. takes the stress off them in terms of their caring responsibilities in many ways. Mm -hmm. We've seen commute times drop, and we've also seen stress amongst women drop. Um, so there has been a benefit to some degree but there's also a disadvantage, and that is that women are now resuming their more traditional caring roles. Mm -hmm. And so rather than seeing equality being expanded, we may see yeah. a reversion to more mm -hmm. traditional male breadwinner females working at home. And that not, is not necessarily um, a positive outcome of COVID. And then would you like to um, you know, uh, tell us more about human resource planning and changing environment? in the context of post-COVID-19, what are the challenges for the industry in general? As I mentioned before, I think you can't really separate COVID from some of the other changes taking place externally, mm -hmm. in particular new technologies. Mm -hmm. But together, those two issues, I think, bring us with challenges such as low skill jobs are going to be displaced, not just because mm -hmm. of technology, but because of COVID. Employers are starting to yeah. think about using technology to replace employees because of COVID. It's hastened the update of technology mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the pandemic. The sort of things that I've been thinking about are, on the one hand, negative side, there will be many low skilled jobs displaced. And on the other hand, there will be many higher skilled jobs displaced. But what that is accompanied by is that there will be a need for employers to concentrate more on ongoing learning and mm. development of their employees. Um, clear performance management uh, programs which focus on future skills rather than present or past skills. Um, workplace redesign, as I mentioned before, because mm. people have been working from home and will continue to work from home because they seem to like that lifestyle. I have many friends who work from home permanently, never mm. go to the office. And they're quite happy with that, which I find a bit surprising because mm. I think the social aspect of going to work is yeah. important mm. and useful in productivity. But that may be in, in some sectors, not in others. I think also the work-life balance issue will become even more, in, more important. Dr. Jane Coffey is a senior lecturer in the School of Management in Curtin University. She has held numerous positions, including International Academic Director, Deputy Head of School and Discipline Leader. Her research interests include career expectations and career attraction and retention issues within the performing arts. Welcome, Dr. Coffey. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you Thank for you. inviting me, Jali. Lovely to be here. Most welcome. May I begin this interview by asking the question, what are the emerging work design challenges in the technology-led work environment? Right. Well, I think we've seen some of those challenges yeah. with um, COVID last year. And what that did was give us a, a little window into um, what to expect with um, uh, future work design. So, you know, we, we have to think about occupational health and safety from the wider perspective when people are working from home. Mm -hmm. um, and we also need to take into account when, you know, people are working from home, yeah. home like we're doing this video with yeah. me sitting um at home is to get that social interaction because it can be quite a lonely journey for people to be isolated um, in a workspace, whether that mm -hmm. workspace is in a work environment or they're working from home. So that social interaction of, of um, having those Zoom meetings, those face-to-face -face yes. meetings, and we know mm -hmm. that they're possible with, you know, like Zoom, for example, um, their, their use increased massively um, during COVID where, you know, employers realised they could actually allow team members to communicate and to, to work together. Designing those spaces, those mm -hmm. workspaces, I think to encourage um, creativity and discussion and innovation. So it's around the workspaces, but also um, designing positions 
um, to allow for, for more discussion, um, to allow for more meaningful and motivational work.